We love Gotham, and you should too. Today we're going to discuss Firefly because she just appeared in the show. Now, Firefly is a classic Batman villain. In Gotham, we are introduced to Bridget Pike, who takes on the persona of Firefly. However, in the comic book world, Firefly is actually a male character. There are two versions of the character Garfield Lenz and Ted Carson. We will discuss both, starting with Garfield Lenz. Pre-Crisis Garfield Lenz was a down-and-out visual effects expert. He used his knowledge in visual effects to rob a theater by faking a fire. Batman and Robin ended up stopping him, but Linz manages to escape. When Batman goes after him, he sees a firefly in the distance and mistakes it for Linz lit cigarette and chases him in the wrong direction. This gave Linz the idea to take on the persona of Firefly using his lighting effects and optical illusions to commit crimes throughout Gotham. Post-Crisis Lens manages to have much of his history still intact unlike a lot of people. The main difference, however, is instead of being a visual effects expert, he is actually a pyrotechnic expert for films. Falling victim to Gotham's severe poverty, he decides to turn to crime to support himself, taking up arson as a hobby that later turns into an obsession. Building his Firefly suit, he decides to become a professional arsonist. He is the main villain during the first part of the Nightfall story arc, and once he escapes from Arkham Asylum, he planned to burn down all the places he never got to go as a child. He succeeded in burning down two of his targets, but when he went after his third, the Gotham Zoo, Batman managed to stop him. When he is placed in Blackgate, he is there during the No Man's Land story arc. Firefly is shown wanting to kill Nightwing to wear his skin over his burnt body. He has also worked with a number of villains as well. He worked with Mr. Freeze, Killer Moth, and Black Mask. He is also a part of the secret society of supervillains. Now for Ted Carson. During pre-crisis, he was a part of the wealthy fold mining family of the Carsons. He ends up gambling away the family fortune, however, and turns to crime to maintain his lifestyle. He is also Bruce Wayne's rival for the affections of Kathy Kane, who was Batwoman at the time. He steals gold nuggets from the Carson family's first gold strike at the Carson Mansion, where Bruce and Dick were attending a party. When they try to interfere, Firefly stops them with a powerful beam of light from his helmet and manages to escape with his gang. Batman, Robin, and Batwoman go to the Gotham Glassworks to fight Firefly, but are stopped when he uses a sonic weapon to shatter the glass and he escapes. Later on, Bruce goes to see Kathy, but Ted was already there. After Ted leaves, Kathy sees Bruce out, leaving him to wonder if she knows that he is Batman. Turns out she didn't and thought it was Ted all along. Kathy finds a fallen paper that reveals Firefly's plan to rob Gotham Museum of Natural History. Later, as Batwoman, she goes to see Ted and tells him to stop Firefly with her as Batman because she saw him changing from a costume to civilian clothes. So he goes to change and comes out as Firefly and proceeds to tie her up and go rob the museum. Batman and Robin, however, already figured out where Firefly was going to strike next and managed to stop him after Batwoman frees herself and helps them out. Ted Carson's Firefly shows up again in the New 52. This time, however, he is a former high school teacher who wants to incinerate everything that reminded him of his ex-girlfriend Cindy Cook. He is shown murdering Garfield Linz in an attempt to use Linz as a scapegoat, seeing as Linz is known as a pyromaniac. However, it doesn't work and he is stopped by Nightwing and Batgirl. Firefly's powers in the pre-crisis is more illusions, but in the post-crisis, he's a full-on pyromaniac. After he is horribly burnt all over his body, he creates an insulated and fire-retardant suit. He added many features to his suit, including a flamethrower, napalm, and a grenade launcher, as well as a sword-like blade of superheated plasma. His suit also has wings mounted on it, allowing him to glide on the updrafts of the fires or he replaces the wings with a jetpack that just allows him to fly. So what will this new version of Firefly bring to the show? Seeing as she is not either of the versions of Firefly in the comics, will she take on some of the ideas that the comic versions had, or will the writers of Gotham make their own version of the notorious villain? Leave your thoughts below. I'm Dan with CTV, and I'll see you guys next time.